Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us for the Trinity College Football Coaches Show. This past weekend in Middlebury, Vermont, the Bantams fell to the Panthers 27-24 to to fall to 5-1 and one on the season. This week, they take on the Amherst Lord Jeffs, but first, we'll join head coach Jeff Devaney for some highlights of that Middlebury game. All right, so here's the highlights of the, uh, the game from this past weekend. Uh, you know, we unfortunately weren't able to make some plays at the end in crunch time that we usually make to win the game, and, and Middlebury did make those plays, but there were some bright spots on our side. One was our freshman quarterback, uh, Sonny Puzo, played really well in a, in a, in a pressured-type game. Here you can see what Middlebury was doing a lot of the times was trying to take away Bunker and Crick, so we were going to some of the read game, and uh, you know Sonny did a good job of, of reading and, and getting some good rushing yards, really helped us keep some drives alive. Uh, defensively, we tried to change it up. Their quarterback's a very good player. We tried to change up what we were doing, sometimes three-man pressure, sometimes four-man, sometimes bringing a blitz. And I thought our defensive guys did a really good job of playing aggressively on routes. You can see here a freshman defensive end, Moise Francelon, doing a great job with pressure on the quarterback. And uh, Tom Szymanski, our outside linebacker, being aggressive on the tight end. And our corners here are matched up outside. And for the most part, we, you know, we kept foot to 29 for 64, less than 50%. If you told me we were going to do that, I would have thought we would have won the game. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Um, here is a, uh, a three-man rush. We're using outside linebacker Mike Weatherby as a three technique to be kind of a spy player here on the quarterback and the screens. And uh, three-man rushing. That's allowing us to, with the drop eight, to be very aggressive in the routes. And you can see here that our field corner, our, uh, our outside linebacker, and our Sam linebacker are all matched up and are real aggressive here. And, it'll, and it keeps us as a two on one on the backside with Akeem Labatou and, and Mike Mancini. And, you know, for the most part during the game, we had real good coverage. And, uh, you know, like I said, kept foot to completing less than 50%. Unfortunately, weren't able to finish it off at the end. This was the uh, first interception of the day. Strong safety Brendan Bader here, senior, is going to intercept the pass here. It's uh, a tip. One of the things we were trying to do, like I said, be aggressive on the routes, try to cause a couple of mistakes. This was one of them. And uh, Brendan's interception right here, he gets a nice return, brings it back to the 15-yard line. And that set up our first score, um, which is right here, Ben Crick. Uh, we've got Crick and Budness. Uh, here's Budness. Here's Crick. Here's Bunker all in the backfield together, and we're actually going to run an outside zone play to Crick where we're going to use Bunker as the lead blocker and Budness as well. And they do a good job of setting an edge, and that's our first touchdown to tie it up there. Now, the next series, you know, we did something a little bit different here. We put three safeties on the field, so we've got Casey Tanner, Brendan Bader, and Mike Mancini all in the field. Again, trying to be aggressive up front with the routes, with the three safeties behind to cover up and um, get a nice interception here from Casey Tanner. And he returns that to the 25. And that, you know, things were going pretty well for us there. Unfortunately, that drive stalled and we ended up kicking a field goal. Freshman Ben Rosenblatt kicked the field goal to give us the lead there. Uh, here's a different look. You can see we're blitzing, playing some man pressure here. Very good aggressive uh, man corner by Akeem Labatou down here on the bottom. Um, pretty good coverage, good pressure, and uh, caused an incomplete pass there. Different look here. You just saw a five-man or six-man pressure. Now we're going back to the three-man look. You can see Mike Weatherby, uh, our outside linebacker, lined up as a three, and he's spying the back for screen and then playing the quarterback. And Mike Mancini, you know, this is one of those things, Mike, Mike really broke on the ball well here, aggressive on the route. Unfortunately, it's kind of how our day went. We had a couple plays like this that we didn't finish off the play, and Middlebury did finish off the play. Nice throw here from Sonny. We we're going to double move the corner down here in the bottom. Chris Ragone is going to run a slant and go. And uh, one of the nice things with Sonny is he's got a strong arm, so we can throw the ball from the hash to the far sideline and we can run some of these routes to the field. That was a big play. This is right before the half, and uh, that set up this run from Ben Crick here. Here's Crick. Here's Bunker. Bunker's going to come across to, to seal out. We're going to give the ball to Crick. 
Very good block here by our tackle up on the linebacker and by center Joe Magardino up on this linebacker. And, uh, you know, Crick is so fast, he hits the hole so hard. If you just give him one little crease, sometimes he's able to split it. And that gave us some, some momentum there going into the halftime. Big, big, big uh, sequence for us here. You know, we're, we're leading 17-14. Middlebury came out at, at, at in the third quarter and went down the field on us. And um, freshman uh, Moise Francois playing D-end here. We've got a crash stunt on down on the goal line, and he's able to get to the tailback, keep him out of the end zone. And then on the very next play, since they saw that uh, us crashing that end, they're going to run a naked bootleg with their quarterback, but this time Moise is not in a crash position. And it's... It's nice when you've got a freshman on the field and you're able to call different defenses and he executes it properly. And that, that was just a big stop for us there. They did kick the field goal and tie the game up. Um, but, you know, when you're looking for some bright spots after a loss, we did have some, some very young players on both sides of the ball who played well for us. You now here, like I said, we're trying to change up looks to the, to the uh, quarterback. We're bringing an inside linebacker here. You know, it looks like a pressure. It's really just a four-man rush. We're just using the inside linebacker. Worked well here against the draw play. This was a big third down call here. And uh, again, I thought Sonny Puzo played really well, very poised. You don't see a lot of freshman quarterbacks coming to his third receiver. Uh, but on this play, his initial... Uh, receiver is taken away. He doesn't feel good about the out because this corner's squatting here with his eyes and he hits the check down, uh, the running back. You don't see a lot of quarterbacks at this age in their career, you know, hitting the check down. But then Evan Bunker takes the check down to the next level by running through some tackles and over some tackles. And, and that got us some good field position there. It really felt like at a, at a point where the game was tied. Unfortunately, we didn't finish that drive. Uh, and now Middlebury's kicked another field goal and has the lead. And we're down here. We've got 90 yards to go. Sonny starts the drive off with a, a nice route here. We're going to release Adrian Johnson outside to get clear out the weak side and then bring Chris Ragone across and try to high-low the, the middle safety with a post-climb route. And Sonny throws a nice ball to Chris on this play. Chris made some big plays for us in this game. And here's another one right here. This is, uh, you know, not much time left in the game. We're down three. And we, we just had a couple successful run plays. We're going to go to a play action here. And uh, actually, Middlebury's got a good defensive call. They're playing two locks, so they're playing man with two deep safeties. But Ragone's able to get behind this safety. And really a very well-thrown ball. Uh, by Sonny because this is one of those throws where you don't want to throw it inside with that safety inside. He throws it to Chris's outside shoulder. And you thought right there that, that maybe we were going to be able to pull this thing out because there's five minutes left and we just took the lead. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to finish it off though and uh, left Middlebury with the loss. Thank you for joining us. Join us next week once more as we preview the final game of the season homecoming against Wesleyan.